A new advocacy group has been formed aimed at speeding up the city's effort to create a multi-use trail along the Thunder Bay waterfront. The ambitious project is estimated to cost over $20 million and take a decade to complete. Started by the Port Arthur Rotary Club, the Waterfront Trail Rotary Community Action Team is looking to raise money and access grants to make it happen. The Waterfront Trail system could run from Fisherman's Park in the north to Mission Island Marsh in the south. The team has already recruited 15 other organizations and believes there's a lot of interest in the city. Action Team lead Warren Philp thinks their work will help lighten the load in the city for such a large project. We see that there's an opportunity because there's a, a trail fund at the federal level, there's trail money at the provincial level. We see that potentially there'd be three levels of government funding and add uh, the private dollars to it. It, um, you know, shrinks the, uh, the burden on the municipal taxpayer. We take a look at the waterways that we have available here, the accessibility for recreation, for sightseeing. It's and tourism is absolutely incredible and we don't want to miss this opportunity. We think it's time to take a look at doing the trail. The Port Arthur Rotary Club is also setting up a charity that will lend another avenue to raise money. The action team plans to outline its goals to the Waterfront Development Committee in the near future.